Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Riti and I am back with another lecture in the SQL series. So in the last set of lectures, we got to know more about the inner joints and the outer joints. In this particular video, we would be knowing about one type of joint that is cross joint. So without any further delay, let's get started. Now as the name suggests cross joint. So what we do in joint, we basically combine two tables. So we combine two tables. Now what we do in cross, so cross is basically something we can say as a cross product. So whenever we are performing any cross product between two tables, that gives me a cross joint or that is the result of the cross joint. Now let's understand what is cross joint. So basically in cross joint, it combines each row of the first table with the every row of the second table. So consider that the customer table is the first table, the order table is the second table. Now according to definition, each row of the first table is combined with each row of the second table. So firstly we will get the result as 101 RAM with one fruit and two ball. And then for the second row again it will combine with each row of the second table. So it will be 102 Rahul with one fruit and 102 Rahul with two ball. So basically there is a cross product which happens between these two table and what we get in the cross join is we get the result of the cross product. So consider that in the customer table if there are m rows consider it is 1 and 2 and here also the number of rows are 1 and 2. So for now we are considering variable. So consider that there are m rows in the customer table and n rows in the order table. So the product or the result of the cross join is m cross n that is for this particular table it would be 2 cross 2 that is 4 so let's verify so firstly first row of the customer table would be cross joined with the first and second row of the order table so first result would be 101 ram with one fruit and again 101 ram with two ball then for the second row it would be 102 rahul with the first row of this table that is one fruit and then again 102 Rahul with the second row of this particular table that is two ball. So this would be the final result of the cross join. Now here you can see that we are getting one, two, three, four. So here we are getting four rows and if we do m cross n then m is the number of rows for the first table and n is the number of rows for the second table. So here 2 cross 2 gives us 4. So basically it results in a new table where the number of rows is equal to the product of number of rows in each table that is m cross n. Now let's see the query for the same. So here you can see the query. So first what we give is select statement and then we provide the columns which we want to see in the final result. So here we have provided star which basically means all. So we want to see all the columns which is present in the first table as well as the second table because join happens between two tables only. Now then we will give from and then we will provide the table one name and then we will give this cross join and then we will provide the table two name. So it will give me a product which would be the cross join between two tables table one and table two which would be having number of rows as table 1 rows into table 2 rows that is m into n so 2 into 2 that is 4. So this would be the final result of the cross join. Let's see from the MySQL workbench that how cross join happens and if we are able to get this result or not. So let's see how cross join happens in the customer as well as the order table. So firstly let's see what all details are there in the customer table. So we'll just hit select star from customer which will give me all the details in the customer table. So there are five IDs with the name. So it is having five rows. And then let's just execute the order table as well. So here there are three IDs. So basically there are three rows. So we will get five into three. That is 15 number of rows in the final result. So let's just do a cross join. So for the cross join, let's just use the existing tables which are present here, the customer and the orders table and then we will see that how the cross join is even happening. So firstly we will see all the details of the customer table. So we will hit the select star from customer which will basically give me all the details of the customer. So here you can see that there are almost 5 IDs and there are name of that particular IDs. And here you can see that there are 5 rows. So the first table is having 5 rows. 
Now coming to the second table that is the orders table, we'll run the query. So here we can see that there are three IDs present. So there are three rows. So five into three is 15. That means the final product or the final or the final result we get after the join would be having 15 rows. So let's do the join. So first we will give select and then we'll provide the columns which we want to show in our final result. So for now we want to see all the columns so that we understand that how the join operation is even happening. And then we will provide from and then we'll provide the table one name that is customer. And then we will provide this cross join keyword. And then we'll provide the table two name that is orders. So select star which will give me all the columns. Then I am providing the table one name that is customer and then I am providing cross join and then I am providing the table two name. So mostly it will have M cross N that is 5 into 3, 15 number of rows. So let's see from the final result if we are getting 15 rows or not. So I'll just execute this query. So here you can see that we have got a cross join of both of the tables and let's see that how many rows are there. So let's count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So the final result is having 15 rows and here you can see that ID 111 is repeated, 222 is repeated because it is going and cross joining from the each and every row of the second table. So basically whenever each row of the first table is cross joined with each row of the second table we get the result so that is m cross n number of rows that is 5 into 3 15 so this was all about cross join in this particular video i hope you like this video so if you like this video please hit the like button if you're someone who is new to my channel can go ahead and watch out the tech content first and if you like it can go ahead and subscribe also, if you have not followed me on my social media handles, you can go ahead and follow. There I upload many resources, job opportunities and much more things. Till then, take care, keep learning, keep growing, keep smiling. Bye all.